the light on. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, so here I am live. Thank you for joining me. My name is Raquel and this is Paints and Glitter, where you will always see all of my mistakes as I craft and share what I'm doing. I am actually coming along to uh, assemble this beautiful set here. Bear with me one second. And it is on the cover of the video. It is called Up, Up and Away. So this is the little panel that comes with the die set. And what I'm going to be doing today is putting this together. I announced this video yesterday in my live video in which I did color a card. That was a lot of fun. Had some ladies here joining me. And so today I hope to repeat the experience uh, with just, you know, some light conversation and humor and some crafting. Hello, Persian Glitter Princess. Remind me of your first name, sweetheart. Um, thank you so much for being here. I have been cutting, cutting, cutting. If you saw the stash here on the side, my big pile of uh, paper there. I have been doing my best to, uh, you know, just um, get myself situated here. And I don't know, um, let's see here, how long you guys can stay with me, but it's okay if people are, Soraya, Soraya, welcome, darling. Um, it's okay if people are, you know, coming in and out and this and that. I don't mind that. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. I'm going to very uh, quickly try to get some details on these little banners that I just cut out. I was racing, <laughs> I was like speed cutting, trying to get this done. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's almost 11. And I had said yesterday that I would come along between 10 30 and 11 you know and I always say that with a you know smirk on my face because I'm like that's if all goes well right um and so here I am and I think you know what I'm this is my first time obviously uh crafting with this set there are a lot of pieces guys but just like anything else you use as many as you like um, and you're not obligated to use all of it, but I did want to have almost like a sampling of what you can make, of course. And what I decided to do, okay, so let's stick to just two stamps, I think. Um, I am going to, I think I, I think I figured out what I'm going to do here. Uh, I think, I think, I think. <laughs> I like to stamp uh, colors that are tone on tone whenever possible, okay? So there was my blue, and I'm going to grab just a different one but the same color. It is a 3D balloon, you're absolutely right. And it has these little banners. Now this set also came with, oops, what you see here on the side which I'm using already, and this is the stamp set, and as you can tell, it has little layers that you can use all throughout, whether it be for the pieces that you put on the side of the balloon, the little banners that go on it, sentiments. I mean, you can't go wrong with Tonic Studios. They really do think of every single detail that you could come across when you're crafting, which is one of the reasons why I'm such a huge fan. The quality of what they make is, in my opinion, superior only because of the fact that they don't uh they don't leave you to your own imagination i suppose i mean I, and of course that's um that's key when you're crafting of course is to yeah you want to use your imagination but what i mean is that if you if you even lack imagination and you're the kind of person that just needs to be told from point A to, to Z what to do, you can still use their product and um, it'll look like a million bucks, like you really, really tried hard. <laughs> and I hope that makes sense um, because they, uh, they provide so many options for you. So all I'm doing here, and this is, you know, optional, of course, is stamping the little textures onto the banners that will go on this uh, balloon and uh, what I have done already 
is to cut out all of the panels that I intend to use. And of course, there are options, but I try to keep it, believe it or not, as simple as possible when it came to the, uh, the panels that will go on the side of the balloon. But I think it also gives you a realistic picture of how long it takes to create these types of things. And so I in invite you to grab a cuppa, as I say, um, of your favorite drink. And yes, it is an absolutely adorable set. Um, grab your favorite drink, come along and join me as I put it together and let's see how many <laughs> mistakes I can make in one video. You guys know I keep it real. So if I make an error and I have to do it over or whatever, I admit to it on my live videos. I don't try to candy coat anything um, because it's, as I say, it's just paper. A lot of people who um, watch my videos will tell me that their experience is not the same as mine that somehow um you know i make it look easy or that sort of thing let me tell you guys this is just um my aim is to remove the uh, hesitation like you just see me stamping here it's okay to just use one stamp over and over again if you only have one um if you didn't even have a stamp to match necessarily what you're doing it doesn't really matter for instance if you were putting a banner on a different project and you only have one stamp one texture then use that and then maybe switch up the color if you can um, if you're blessed enough to have the variety then what i suggest is that you use it all all of it don't hold back you know don't wait to use that special paper or that special ink that you bought, if you spent the money on it, then um, don't stash it away, get it out and use it. You won't regret um, giving your best to anyone if you're gifting something. Uh, I always, you know, just aim to, to put your best foot forward and, um, you know, and it's awesome also to have almost like a conversation piece too. Hi Susie, welcome. Yes, the mistakes are learning opportunities. We all know that as crafters. If you didn't get it right, then it means that you need to expend your repertoire. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> you know? And Lord knows how many times I've learned something new because I goofed on a project and then said, Oh, wait, I can cover it with this. <laughs> you know? Um, so... Okay, so let me recap really quick here. The colors that I have used have all been inspired by the paper collection that I have also used to cut out the panels of this um, balloon. They have been cut from, the papers today that I'm using are from the Maggie Holmes, um, what's it called again? Pardon, Carousel. So this is the collection that I'm using. And I think it's absolutely adorable. I've used this gold paper here. Um, I cut out the panels from this paper here. And I was so tempted to use the hot air balloon paper. However, it didn't work. What was the third one? Oh, the polka dot, polka dot, where'd it go? Did that come from a different paper collection? Possibly. Okay, so I have this pink polka dot paper that I thought was from this collection. Apparently it wasn't, so I must have put one in there. Uh, but I love the color uh, palette here. So, oh, wonderful. So glad you like it also, Soraya. Yes, it's so pretty. So I thought that it would work really awesome with holographic paper, which is my all-time favorite color. <laughs> and that holographic paper came from, by the way, I've got my stacks over here because I've been cutting, cutting, cutting. And, oh, bear with me, guys. So that holographic paper came from this set here, the Paper Studio Hobby Lobby Unicorn, whatever. It's just called the Unicorn. <laughs> so it came from there. And as you can see, they kind of play well together. Um, and that's where I've gotten my papers today. 
Uh, okay, so as you saw, I stamped all of my little banners. Now I wanna make sure that I'm situated correctly here. So let me move this over a little bit because I think I am more comfortable over here. I'm going to make try to make sure that I'm correctly situated here. And yeah, I think I'm happier there. So I'm going to set aside the stamps for a minute. By the way, um, is it, you know what, it's, it more than likely is, I just don't understand, I could have sworn I um, cut it out of that. In any case, I'm going to put the little banners aside. Uh, for the banners, I will be using, hopefully, I don't know how many strips, but I did cut away some acetate strips. I have a total of four here that measure about, let's see here, 14, 13, no, these measure 12 inches. And I tried to be consistent, but you guys know how that goes. Um, they're a quarter of an inch wide, approximately. Some One of them, I think, is a little bit thinner. So I'm going to set those aside as well. That's going to be kind of toward the end, I think. We'll see. Um, so for this project, you need a base color for the lid of your balloon. And that needs to be cut out. And a somewhat strong cardstock, right? Because you don't want it to be wimpy, right? This is going to be a 3D project, and my internet has decided to go kaplooey, so I do apologize if you can't see me. I'm hoping to hop back in, guys. At this point, I don't see my video, so I do apologize if I've, I'm creating lag on your end. I'm having to hop back in here to see why that happened. And I pray, pray, pray that that's the only time this happens in this video. I would love a comment if you could tell me if I'm still on or not. And whether or not you guys can see me. <laughs> you say, okay, wonderful. All right, so I cannot see my own video. <laughs> I'm gonna proceed. And uh, I don't know why that's happening so weird. Okay, all right, so you guys can see me, so I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> if I need to move to the left or the right or whatever, let me know, guys, okay? Um, what I'm going to do here is an assembly style, show you guys, you know, what I believe should be the steps to take. Uh, and this is only, you know, based on my experience in 3D crafting, of course. All opinions are my own. <laughs> so this came with a, a die. Let me show you that one. That cuts out this piece and it has all those little tabs. And of course it looks like that. Then it has another layering die that I have used to cut out all of the outer panels and that gorgeous paper. However, Maggie Holmes paper doesn't always come with the shine on it. So I added my own. And the way that I did that was that I used uh, Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And I did use a little dauber. It looks like that. And I just added my own uh, mousse on here. You can add it the way that, you know, basically like this. You dip it in there and you do this. That's it. That's as complicated as that gets. And you put as much or as little as you like. You can definitely do it on a regular cardstock or designer paper that doesn't have a print, however you like. But I wanted to give that little pearlescent finish to the paper, so I selected that. Um, oh, okay. All right. Wonderful. Oh, now I see my video. Awesome. Okay, cool. It came back. I don't know what happened there. A little hiccup. And, um... This also, by the way, came with two, let me show you quickly here. So it came with two pieces like this that you can cut and layer on top. For the sake of not having to spend the time layering today, I'm only gonna use that base layer that came. That's the simple one, okay? But you can use these. And the way that you would do it is you pair it up with that one. And then together, you can cut the layer that would go on top. Or if you want to, let's just say you have a piece of paper that doesn't, I don't know, 
doesn't uh is not uh the most beautiful or whatever but you just want to use it um anyway you can cut into that background paper by only using one of these and i hope that makes sense okay so moving on let's go ahead and take a look at the other pieces in the same fashion you can cut using this base piece another six base pieces that will look like that okay and i'm not going to repeat the, the same thing over and over again but you get the idea there are panels that you can use to layer on top of this to decorate these pieces and that's what i've done okay so i'll be showing them as i start gluing them what i would like to do is to start here by putting some dry adhesive on the back here and i know that this is probably going to look a little strange but just uh come along for the ride i suppose <laughs> i'm gonna start here because i think this is gonna make life a little bit easier and i'm not being terribly careful however um like i said this is the first go around with this die set you can be as careful as you like because you know now the die is in my possession then i don't worry too much to be honest because i figure i can always do it again this is the learning one right the learning project uh okay so i've got those um let me make sure that that's cut nicely there here we go okay and while this is still flat now is when I'm going to put uh, these papers on here. However, let me see here. Let me think for a second. No, I think I want to curve them first. Yep. Let's curve them because this is a curved project. So this, by the way, curves. This is the top and this is the bottom. So I'm going to just grab my bone folder and do that. That's as complicated as that gets. I'm going to start there only so that my paper the what do you call it the fibers on it and you can go back and do two at a time or whatever so that the fibers start breaking down a little bit and then that way it's easier to curl it if you don't have a bone folder you can use um you can use a pen you can use the side of the table anything like that okay you just want to be careful not to rip the paper so i like to hold it from you know one side and then repeat it from the opposite direction so that i'm pulling the paper from the center out i hope that makes sense it's kind of like curling hair <laughs> almost don't pull so hard so as to rip it <laughs> be gentle okay like that all right so i've got all those curled these are going to be the inside pieces because I like to finish the inside uh, because after all, this is going to open. So because this is going to be the opposite of that, then I'm going to grab it, do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. Okay, this is just prep work. I could have done it all ahead of time, but I do have other things going on in my life. So <laughs> I'm doing it now. <laughs> And I accidentally got a little bit of that uh, mousse on that, but I'm going to uh, ignore that. It was just on my table. Okay, so six of those, six of these. Let's get gluing on these surfaces. Um, I hope you guys are having a fabulous Thursday, even though I called it Friday. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Um, I might have to open a new bottle, but... Don't need a terrible amount of glue here. This is just going to be assembly style. You know what? I It did not. Oh, actually, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. It says it on the paper, I'm sure. Or actually, no, I think what they do is they give you the size of the largest die. I don't know that it says the size of the finished project. That's a good question. I always ask um tonic when they do their reveals i'm always asking please give me a finished size 
so the, yeah it just says the largest die size which is four and a half inches by 2.9 inches yeah that's not a good gauge unless you're really into math <laughs> you want to multiply that by six and you know do the whole diameter and all that good stuff which most people refrain from because <laughs> they just want to know just tell me um Okay, so as you see, this is just assembly line work here at this point, but it gives us time to chat. Tell me what's new in your world, people. Share the video if you like to. Give it a thumbs up if this is the kind of video that you enjoy. I invite you, of course, to use my links to support my channel if you can. If you're going to shop for the items anyway, <laughs> Uh, this item is still available, and yes, there are links in the description bar of this video for Tonic Studios, which is the store that produces this particular uh, set. Um, and you, you have the option of buying it without the stamps or buying it together, just so you know. If you're not into stamping whatsoever, that's not something you would ever use. You don't have to actually uh, get the stamps. Oh, no problem. No, no problem. I always, always ask. I'm telling you right now, I'm that person on the live videos um, saying, please, could you set it? You know, because they have the same, the same tonic mat. That's what I'm usually doing. I'm watching the live videos, but I'm looking at the mat to see how big does that item look against that, you know? Okay, so I'm trying to maintain that curve. If you see that your paper is falling flat again, you can revisit the whole, you know, shaping. Okay, but obviously what you see here now is the little tabs on the side are supposed to fold. They're all mountain folds, so you can just go ahead and do those all at once. And including the tab on the top, just so you know, okay? That does have a little tab on the top. I tend to put my fingernail behind the paper and kind of hold it uh, just as a habit. And this is a 110 pound cardstock, but you can use 80 pound cardstock if it's not something that you're going to send in the mail. I don't think it would be a problem because it's got so many layers that it's, I think it would be fine. So here's where I have that adhesive on the side that did not have the tabs. And I did that on purpose to make my life a little bit easier because I'm now going to take away the backing to that. And I'm going to line up my next piece. And I'm going to focus on this little corner first. I'm going to emphasize the gluing here with wet adhesive because 3D items you really want to use wet glue for. Um, but that little, uh, for the sake of speed, of course, that little bit of dry adhesive is going to help me just get myself started there. And I'm just going to go bit by bit. Focusing on the top tab and the bottom tab there, and then I'm going to give it a nice gentle squeeze there. Now, if you want to be really, really, really neat, you're going to use only the wet adhesive, okay? Because now I do have that strip kind of exposed on the inside here, but my intention is to cover that up with perhaps even a ribbon or some uh, strips of paper. I don't know. It'll probably be ribbon, honestly. Okay, so I've got my beginnings there. I'm going to continue on doing the same thing for a total of six times. And just so you know, I my video's hopping in and out on my end. So I do appreciate any, you know, just checking in with me to let me know that I'm still on. See, I want to make sure this is nice and straight. Oh, I forgot. This gives me a little bit of uh, leeway here also when you use the wet adhesive. Okay, 
making sure that the curve remains. And it takes a little bit of patience, but it pays off in the end, right? Oopsie. All right. So I'm just going to hold on to this for a second while it makes contact so that it doesn't split open again because I see that that can be a problem. Now, if you're a hot glue girl, you can definitely do this with hot glue. That's a matter of preference. Hot glue does leave sometimes a bit of a bump in the paper though, and that's why I didn't want to use that today. Oh, wonderful. No glitches. Wow. You must have better internet than I do. I live in the boondocks. <laughs> I live in an area that is quite an interesting area. It's country pretending not to be country is what I would call it. I see that I got pink ink on there. I had ink on my finger and it transferred over, but hey, that'll end up with probably a gem. Um, so my internet is, yeah, whatever. Oh, it's so bad. And the irony is that 15 minutes away from here, it's so much faster, but whatever. What are you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm married a country guy and that's what I get. Slow internet. I should tease him when he gets home. Be like, you know what, sweetheart? We need to move. <laughs> so I need better internet. <laughs> All right, holding on, holding on, making sure to make contact. What I'm trying to avoid here are the little gaps, right? Um, there we go. So for that, you just have to hold on to it and try to get that paper exactly where you want it. And we were discussing yesterday, the ladies that were here in the other live video, of other options of things that you can make. Because if you enjoy the shape, of course, that's dome like that, you can start thinking of new ideas on how to use this with other dies that you might have. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Because I think, I think I'm going to give my, give it a try, right? Okay, so I hope I didn't forget to put the wet glue the last time. Because I get talking. As you guys know, I get talking and I forget. Okay, let's do the next one here, top and bottom. And it almost looks like a really big flower too. So of course you could do like a little bowl with this and just have it be a flower, why not? It's so stinking cute. You could decorate a room. Think about a nursery, right? If you were doing a baby girl nursery, you could totally use this with little twinkle twinkle lights. Oh my gosh, that would be so stinking cute. And make, you know, like a little banner. So yeah, totally. Yeah. I do what I'm talking, which is why the live videos are more difficult but it's the nature of things you know you're using both sides of your brain and then some because i you know you have to focus on the video and of course in my case with like i just mentioned the whole internet in and out you got to focus on your project make sure you mention everything you need to mention so that people don't um get mad at you <laughs> although i don't think anyone ever does but every now and then Okay. All right, it's getting there. So again, it might not be 100% perfect this go around, but let's practice forgiveness. Okay, let me remove the adhesive from this side. Let's be consistent. Okay, and in this case, I could apply the wet glue here, but I'm gonna wait on that piece and I'm just gonna do this one first. Okay. And it starts getting a little bit tighter, but that's okay because it's paper, it's uh, it's malleable, you know, you can still move it, you can stretch it a little bit here and there. 
you just don't want to be too rough with it. Um, and that's where the patience comes in. So the idea is to enjoy the process. Some things don't uh, need to be rushed, right? Calm, calm and confident, sweetheart. <laughs> ask, ask my son and he would tell you, mm, nope. <laughs> Maybe the confident part, yeah. I don't think I'm insecure, but the calm. <laughs> uh, especially after a few cups of coffee. Although, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm mellow. <laughs> I don't think I'm high strung, but I'm definitely a type A personality. <laughs> Never been a follower, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I do see that there are other people here. I, if you're working, I understand if you don't say hi because <laughs> you don't want to get caught. But if you're not and you just want to type a quick hello, I would love to know who you are. I do know that most of the people who view my channel are not even subscribers, so I do invite you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, and I promise you I will not hound you. I won't call you or anything. <laughs> it's not a lifetime commitment either. You can totally unsubscribe later if you feel like it. Uh, all right. Here's the last bit, like that. But yeah, I think I, I overcompensate for the hyperactivity of my other family members. Um, I'm not that person, mm, definitely not. All right, so I'm gonna try to see here, oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why isn't it sticking? Um, uh, maybe you want to take the liner off? <laughs> that might help. Take the liner off. I was wondering why it was so slippery. Okay, here we go. I was just relating to my youngest son yesterday um, was, as I was taking him to his basketball practice I was like you know I was the kind of kid that I have two older brothers so that explains part of my sense of humor <laughs> Gr growing up with boys but uh, my oldest brother in particular is very hyperactive or was anyways when we were kids and um, he was also the kind of kid that was pretty uh, ruthless. <laughs> so I knew to just observe, be quiet, and walk away. <laughs> I was always in that uh, survival mode, I suppose. So that explains a lot of like, oh, that looks dangerous. I don't think I want to partake. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to go home and... Yeah, that's what I was telling my son. I was like, I, I would just look at him and be like, mm, yeah, I think I got a box of crayons in my room I need to use up right now. <laughs> I'm going back inside. Because <laughs> I grew up in the, you know, 70s and 80s. The parents weren't helicopter parents back then. There was nobody, like, telling you how to play. You had to figure that stuff out on your own, you know. But somehow we managed to figure it out. Okay, I'm holding this little piece here for a minute because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> and I already got the red ink, it's transferring, the, or that pink ink, but that's okay. But I, I can also um, touch it up with some Nuvo uh, mousse or something like that. But that little one, it's being defiant, and here's the reason why. I can explain, you know... When there's more uh, paper kind of pulling in the opposite direction, then your last piece might be a little bit more challenging than the first one was. And that makes sense. It's just a matter of, you know, physics. So let me... Uh, okay, I need to be patient. Just hold on to it for a second there. 
<clears throat> but let's see who else is here. So I've got Soraya and I are having a very wonderful conversation. <laughs> Everyone else is mute for the moment. I don't know if they left. Um, but this is coming together. Okay, so I'm going to be very, I'm going to set this aside for a minute and just let it do its thing. Let it, uh, you know, let it mingle. Um, and, okay, hopefully I start getting somewhat of a shape there. Um, like I said before, this is the first go around, so it may or may not be perfect in the end, but that's okay. I'm just going to be patient with that. Now, when that's a little bit drier, I'll go in and do the interior part, okay? But for now, let's do this little basket piece. It looks like so. And the same concept, you get six pieces that you have to cut out as your base, right? And then what I did was that the layering pieces that go on top here, I cut out of the holographic paper. So we will glue those on first while it's still flat. And also using the Maggie Holmes paper, I cut out this gorgeous striped gold paper that came in that collection. And I'm still looking for that little piece here. So I cut that out six times. Now there are other panels that you can use with this collection. Uh, actually, no, there's one, there's one panel that you can use for this bottom piece that makes it look more like a basket. Okay, in case you don't wanna use a, a solid piece. So I'm just gonna assembly line glue that on. And I like actually, to use my tweezers for this because that way it keeps the glue off of my hands and okay using this wet glue kind of shifts a little bit but I'm going to also try to make sure that this paper is not uh, because it's got the glitter on it it has a little bit of a tendency to buckle I'm going to try to make sure that's not buckled once I put this down. But you can imagine if you have other dies that are that shape, you know, a little rectangle, you can, there's no rule saying you can't use them. So you can really make these quite unique depending on what you have already in your stash. I, of course, was thinking of the whole Maggie Holmes look, if you will. Girly, girly, right? glimmery and all that good stuff um so i went with these because let's be honest i mean if you if you've seen my other projects on this channel you know i like the glimmer <laughs> thank you so much Okay, whoopsie, sliding a little bit. Now, the good thing is that this does dry clear, but in any case, you can use also a rubber eraser to remove any uh, excess glue if you get it on the panels. That helps give you a nice crisp finish. This paper has a uh, very light weight, just to let you know, the holographic. This is my first time using Paper Studio uh papers i think maybe not i can't remember now but i'm used to the the tonic studios holographic papers are much thicker uh mm. and i do have some i could have used them i just don't i don't know these this was on my table so i went with that but i can already tell for instance you don't want to add too much glue using that paper because it's so thin Whereas the Tonic Studios cardstock is much more substantial. And of course, I'm referring to the holographic one, okay? Yes, it's not difficult. Not at all. It's just a matter of, you know, following the little steps here and there. That's all. 
Now I didn't cut the papers to line the inside of this. I can do that off camera. So again, I was I just wanted to keep it simple for the video to see how far along I could get on that. And I didn't have too much time to prep. Otherwise I would have had these all glued by now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Joanna. How are you today? And if if I'm uh, off topic or or you know not responding fast enough, just to let you know it is because I still have a lag on my phone, and that's what I'm uh, using to watch the video, the chat, I should say. And for some reason, it keeps kicking me back out. I don't know why it's doing that. So. Um, all right, so on here, I'm gonna do the same thing of doubling up that adhesive only because it makes life easier for me. Actually, I'm gonna do it on this side. Okay, because I know that that's where my paper needs to land anyway. It kind of uh, works out to, uh, to do a little strip of this on the base and then use the liquid adhesive on the other side. If you catch my drift. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, we're having, we have Memorial Day weekend here. I know you're in Germany, right, Joanna? Um, so this weekend is all about the red, white, and blue. Um, and our servicemen. So it's a good thing, good thing to honor, honor the servicemen of the United States. That's awesome. Yes, you know what? I have a paper collection that will be perfect for this if I decide to go with a masculine version. And this sweet, sweet girl that I met on Instagram sent it to me all the way from Russia. She's such a sweetheart. Um... And I saw it yesterday when I was looking for papers and I was like, oh, this would be perfect. But I was like, ah, oh, but I kind of want to do a girly one first. <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, so that's why we're here with the, uh, the Maggie Holmes version. Now I'm going to take a quick peek at the picture here just to make sure. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure that I have, okay, so this is the base, just to let you guys know. And this is where the tabs are for this. So technically, I could apply um, a strip of adhesive here on the bottom, but I think I'm just going to do it on that side. And now for this, all of the little folds that you see, with the exception of that top bit, right, they're all going to be mountain folds. All right, just pulling that one back a tiny bit. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Joanna, you and I should Zoom and do it together. <laughs> that would be so much fun. <laughs> yes, because I have the Buenos Dias acetate. And trust me, I want to do that too. Now, here's my question to you, Joanna, because I was thinking about that yesterday. Um, to do it in acetate, the um, to cover the little bits. You know what I mean? Um, so that the glue doesn't show. That's the challenge, right? Um, all right. So I did remove the backing here. So now, again, I'm going to repeat the same process of adding the liquid glue to the little tabs. And that sticky bit is going to help me get started at least in positioning that. 
they're both mountain folds so I have to be um, aware of that when I'm adhering the rest of it because I don't want to I don't want to glue this flat there is about a 45 degree angle there that I want to be mindful of when I'm gluing these together okay and I find it to be quite delicate considering uh, the design now if you want to you don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it where I'm doing bottom middle and top you can do all the bottoms first then all the middles and then all the tops so it depends on how comfortable you are with angles and all that good stuff uh, let's go on to the next one here okay awesome Joe medium didn't help. yeah I was thinking um, for instance glossy accents but I'm not a fan of glossy accents I'll be perfectly honest um, however Ranger has a different wait yeah that is gel medium isn't it okay Oh, you know, I wonder, see, now I'd be concerned about the yellowing of the, uh, the, um, adhesive also. That's the other thing to bear in mind. You don't want it to look like some <laughs> heavy smoker was riding your balloon. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's my sense of humor. <laughs> like, hey honey, <laughs> going places. <laughs> It could be a carnival ride balloon. <laughs> I better stop. <laughs> I mean, like, this is my carny balloons. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I said this yesterday. I need to stop. I need to just, like, chill out. <laughs> I just, oh, I can't. My default mode is to just have fun and, <laughs> and laugh. What can I say? Uh, I think it's healthy. It's healthy to have a sense of humor. <laughs> okay, so you guys see I'm just repeating the motions here. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, I agree. Joanna, we should both do it and see, you know, which, uh, which material works. All that good stuff. Feel free to, you know, if you find something, I'll look around my room also to see if there's anything. Because, I mean, there's always um, the uh, double-sided adhesive, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out because I'm definitely interested in doing that. For sure, for sure, as we say, for sure. Okay, let's continue on. Now, this Nouveau adhesive, by the way, is making this look extremely easy, and here's why. I am, yes, using double-sided tape to help me out here. However, Nouveau glue dries quite quickly, guys. So if you're in the market for a good adhesive, this is fun to use. I recommend it. Not because I'll get anything out of it, but because I just think it's really good. <laughs> I think it makes life, you know, a lot easier when you're crafting with quality materials. Um, okay. And as you can tell, I'm being patient. I am not trying to force this. I'm not rushing it. Just letting the paper make contact as it needs to. And as I said before, now the, the heavier the paper, the, the stronger is going to be the pull to go back to that uh, flat state. So just, you know, bear that in mind when you're crafting so as to not get frustrated with it. Because if you think the paper is trying to defy you, it's not. <laughs> 
that's just how it goes. And sometimes you have to add a little bit more glue as you go along and all that good stuff. I can tell that mine's getting a little wonky here, so I am going to add a little more. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I'm going to do the actually the bottom parts first, and then I'm going to do the middle, then the top, just because I'm noticing there that there's that uh, that pool. So let me do the middle, the bottom. Sorry, bottom, bottom, bottom. Hold that. But hey, if you guys saw, if any of you were here for my mini album video where I showed how to bead the spine of a mini album, this is nothing <laughs> compared to that. <laughs> because that was a process and a half. Uh, it was so well worth it though. I love the result. But as I say, it takes... It takes time okay so here we go I'm gonna do this last bottom bit and then I'll do the middle on those and then the top you have an insta but we'll only put acetate balloon on if I can't make Oh, no worries. No worries. Uh, yeah, I understood you the first time, Joanna. You're cool. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, and I'm I'm in agreement with that. You know, I don't I don't publish the the oopsie projects. <laughs> Now, I have a question, and it's regarding Facebook. I had deleted all of my Facebook accounts and whatnot, and then I went back on just to share my projects, okay? Because, you know, I just figured, okay, I'll, I'll only use my Facebook for that. Okay, this is coming apart, so I need more glue. Um, now, I find that when I go to comment on Facebook on another post, not my own, but on, on any other, that it will not allow me, let's just say I did get a typo, right? It won't allow me to go back and fix my typos. And I'm like, okay, what is up with that? And am I the only person that this is happening to? I don't get it. But I need answers. <laughs> I'm calm and collected. What was it again? <laughs> I'm calm and confident, but I can't type on Facebook. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. And it doesn't help when, you know, you're like me, I wear glasses, uh, thanks to being, you know, old now, and I can't see, and then I'm like looking at something I wrote, and I'm like, I totally didn't even write that. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. We're making the little basket of the balloon. And it's been a minute, but, you know, it takes patience. And I'm adding glue as I go along here to grab those little pieces and keep my angles steady as much as possible. And it's okay if the glue starts, um, also, this Nuvo glue, it's okay if it starts kind of drying. Um, it's almost preferable to let it get a little bit tacky and then do your you know manipulating of the paper so that way it grabs a little bit more yeah I don't know I must have messed around on something but Facebook doesn't like me anyway <laughs> I'm one of those conservatives that gets put in Facebook jail, so whatever. I'm not worried about it. It's just annoying. Because it's not like I go on there to say anything bad, you know? Alright, so here's the next piece. 
holding on to it, holding on. Oopsie. I have to go back. So it's taking a minute there to dry, but we'll get to it. Oh, no worry, Tanya. I get you. It's good to, you know, play these kinds of videos in the background as you're cleaning. That's what I do. If I'm doing laundry or whatever, just play the video in the background. Have a little bit of company in your room as you clean. I totally do that as I'm, you know, doing my, my adulting, my chores. <laughs> Depending, of course, on how, how much I have to focus on what I'm doing. Um, but I appreciate the support. And let us know, what are you organizing? Is it your papers? How do you organize your ribbon if you have any? Because that's always my greatest challenge. It makes me want to get rid of all of it, even though I do enjoy using it. Um, and by the way, I started off with, I shared this in a separate video. I started off my crafting at my kitchen table using nothing but the clear plastic uh, shoe bins that are sold at the dollar store here in the US that's all I could afford and so that's how I would store everything then I moved from the shoe size bins to the 13 gallon bins <laughs> uh, again because that's all I could afford and then Michaels back in that day had these cubes that they started selling that are now known as, what is it, Recollections Cubes or something like that. They've since changed brands and everything, but whatever, same concept. So then I got like maybe six of those. What? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I love that, I love your typo, bazooka. <laughs> um, I am going to use this twine here because it's got a silver thread going through it and I thought it would look cute with the um, the holographic paper um, so yeah you're gonna have to give me pointers Joanna as to how to do the twine because I'm looking at the balloons here let's see Okay, so I did see somebody did an eyelet in the middle of the the lid shape. This little guy here. So I could do that. I could make the little hole there and, and uh, sorry, that would go here. I could make the little hole there and put the eyelet, even though uh, eyelets and I don't necessarily get along too well, but whatever. We could figure that out. Like I said, this is my first go around, so all of the mistakes will be displayed on this particular project. All right, I need a little more glue, so I'm going back to reinforce this. Okay, and then once this little tab dries, we'll be in business. It's the waiting place. Okay, it's almost there. So again, you start seeing these shapes and you start imagining other little projects that you could possibly make with them, right? I'm seeing a teacup right now, which would be so stinking cute, right? Yes, yeah, so you can do that. Um, this one here, I can tell by the picture that there was the eyelet put on that. Um, so whoever made the gray and the yellow balloon out in the universe, thank you. Because I, what I really dig was the little strips here with the uh, acetate. So I totally was like, yeah, I, I want to give that a try. See if I like it. Um... Mm. But I'm seeing, you know, these have little gaps here and there. So I guess I'm not the only one in that. Um, I totally just flung that across my room by accident. Okay. I think, I think, I think that this is sort of kind of done. I hope. Um, let me see here. This one, no, it's not. Sorry, guys. It's taking a minute. I don't, 
And you know what? Today's not a terribly humid day here, but that does impact how quickly your glue will dry, just to let you know. It does affect it. And I did also use the reinforcement of the dry adhesive there, so I'm quite surprised that that came apart. All right, so I'm gonna leave that dry. I've done what I can with that. Before I put the base on it, I'm gonna allow that to dry as much as possible. Now I'm moving back in this direction. This has had a minute there to dry. So you did, okay, two holes on the basket and two holes on the lower part of the balloon and attached with twine. Ah, capiche. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to picture that, Joanna. Is that, wait, I'm missing still part of this balloon. So let me not go that, <laughs> let me not go too far because my brain will start cramping. <laughs> And that's just an inside joke. <laughs> All right, so here's the lid. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of maneuvering that you have to do there. But I'm going to repeat. Um, yes, the humidity is not, not the best friend of paper crafting. When it gets humid here, I try to close my room as much as possible. And we have a dehumidifier, but, you know, I have to set rules sometimes in my household. Like, dude, if you open my door, you're going to suffer. <laughs> yes, I, I still have to uh, create the rest of what will go there, right? Um, okay. Here we go. So I just applied, as you saw, a little bit of dry adhesive there, just again, to help me get that initial grab on the paper. And now I'm going in with the wet glue on the tabs. And what I'll do is place this here. Oh wait, don't I need a hole first? Yeah, I do, right? Let me do the little hole. Joanne, I'm digging the ideas. That sounds so awesome. Okay, so I'm grabbing my crocodile. Crocodile, okay. And I'm going to center this as best as I can. Voila. I need another one of these guys for the inside, though, to uh, reinforce it. So before I get too ahead of myself, I'm going to cut another one. So this one's going to hang out there for one minute. I'm going to cut another one and this way it'll match. <clears throat> no, wrong paper. So I'm just going to grab a strip here. I'm going to walk away for one second there. I'm just going to grab a little piece, and this is also 110 pound cardstock because I want it to be nice and sturdy. Whenever I'm layering, I try to do that as much as possible, anyway. Okay, so what I'll do is use the first piece that I cut as my guide okay I'm putting the adhesive side up because I don't want to glue it just yet all right and then I'm just going to use my pencil to make sure that I these line up right so let's do that again I'm just making a little hole there okay Now this little guy can go right on top here, and this is the one that's got the uh, adhesive on it already. I'm gonna try to grab all the little corners here as much as possible and kind of push them in. And I suppose I could have started there, but as I said, this is my learning piece. So what I'm doing is I'm just holding all of those little corners together there 
and I'm going to give this a moment to dry. I'm going to, uh, at the same time, try to uh, exit my chat and go back in because I realize the lag is just insane. I don't know why my videos do that. There we go. Now I'm... <laughs> this is weird. Okay. I'm going to take a sip of my water. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, that feels good. <clears throat> All right. So now when I have that nice and dry, now I can go back in from the other side and I could have put an eyelet there guys, but I don't want to bother with that today. I could also put a whole reinforcer that's uh, made of paper. And I do have dies that cut those. Okay, so I can go back in and do that. But I've added enough glue so that I can line that up in there. Just like so. There's always a stray little cat hair. And then if you remember my uh, pieces here, I've got those set aside. Now what I'm asking myself uh, naturally is, wait a minute, are these, no, these are not the ones. Sorry guys, they're these, the ones that I curved. What I'm asking myself at the moment, however, is, um, I think that I want to do the little string, the acetate pieces before I do this. So I'm going to hold off on that. But I'm really liking that shape. As that dries, let's move on to these. And there's, again, six of these. And this is going to form the rest of uh, the balloon shape that will go on the base, right? No, it adheres to this part here or something like that. We'll figure it out <laughs> in any case. There's six of these. Um, I have to keep referring to the picture. Because I'm, I'm almost positive that this glues to the outside here. I don't know. I guess it doesn't have to. I've seen several versions of this already, but it, it depends on which look you're going for, of course. All right, what I would like to do, however, is start putting these little panels on top. Gives me a moment to think. Whoopsie, I think I wanted to pink over here. And blue then like this maybe all right i think i have one that repeats itself here we go okay so these just go straight on here and as i mentioned before there are other pieces that you can use to layer but this is just clean and simple today Now this paper was all one piece and it had several squares that had this uh, pattern on it and all I did was cut it down to fit the die. So that's another neat way to use the papers that you have is to try to find a shape that works, right? And I was thinking of... Uh, the hot air balloons that we get to see here in upstate New York, there are so many gorgeous ones that, uh, you know, in the summertime we can go, or actually it's early fall that we can go to the festival and see them take off. So much fun. And sometimes they have patterns like that. Okay. 
Okay, so you see you don't need a whole lot of glue, just little dots here and there. Okay. And now I'll flip them all over and do the same thing again that I did before. Now in this case, there's also a little bit of manipulation here. So I want to do it before the glue dries entirely. What I'm going to do is half of the top, or the top half, I'm sorry, I'm going to curve out like that. And then I'm going to flip the paper and curve in the opposite direction to achieve this look here. It's kind of like an S or a wave. So again, the top half curling away, flipping it over and curling away like that. And all of that, you know, as soon as possible before this paper dries, or the glue, I should say. And if a little corner comes off, I can reinforce it. Yes, you can definitely see the inside of the balloon, and that's such a great question, because it's actually a little box. Um, and of course, if you want to, you can uh, glue it all together. It's up to you. But for um, generally speaking, it's meant to open, which I think is so super sweet. Some of the ladies, what they've done is they have put magnets, and that's what's in the instructions as well, that you can put little magnets here and then put magnets on some of these, and then when you put it on, it snaps together, which I think is super cool. Um, okay, so as you can tell, some of these papers, they start coming up because I didn't curl them, but that's okay. It's, you know... It's still wet enough that I can go back and add a little bit more. Yours don't open. Yeah, if you're gonna use it just for a decoration piece, it doesn't have to. Okay, there's that. And then there are the pieces that go on the inside. Um, I'm going to do the opposite as far as the curling is concerned. Wait, I didn't do that right. <laughs> there we go. So I have to look at it. You would think that I would remember. Okay, what I did two seconds ago, right? <laughs> no such luck. All right. Curling the paper. Yeah, this just makes life a little bit easier. It breaks the fibers, as I mentioned before, of the paper. And that way you're not struggling to get your curves on your 3D makes. And this paper is rather thin. So you don't have to uh, you don't have to fight with it to get it to curl. It's actually it curls quite easily. Um, okay, so let's just go with it. And I'm going to actually I'm going to do the gluing first and then put the liners so that I can hide the tabs as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit of um, you know little beginning here, a little bit of tack. Actually, the whole thing. And I don't know why yeah, I decided not to do the bottom tab only because it's going to go in a different angle. It's kind of interesting how I think my brain just is on autopilot sometimes and I forget the reason why I do stuff. <laughs> it's 
that happen to anybody else? Is that just me? <laughs> like I knew inherently not to put this glue on the entire thing, but I couldn't remember why, which is so weird. All right, come on, there we go. And this is the thinner score line tape or score tape, I should say. Um, but again, this is just to avoid the big residue. I should have done the same thing for the other piece, in fact. To avoid the big wide uh, residue there. Okay. So I'm going to fold my tabs. And I'm going to, um, let's see here, fold the top one also. Okay. I'm just gonna fold that in a mountain fold a little bit there. Not not a not a very deep angle, but still. I'm gonna get that started. Hello. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Okay, here we go. So going again top to bottom. And it'll be so tempting to go back and add tons of shine to this. So don't be surprised if I post a second picture after I'm done with all sorts of shine. Okay. But again, because this curves, you want to hold the, the bottom tab and the top tab. And as soon as those are dry, then you can kind of go back and uh, manipulate the the ones that are on the curve. Yes, you can. You can certainly, and that's another cool thing about these projects is that you, you make it work for you. Um, because of course, you know, some people use these for celebrations and um, others are just um, sending a special gift or just using it as, like I mentioned before, as room decor. So depending on how, you know, what the, the whole um, purpose of it is, then you can either make it supremely elegant or more playful, fill it up with chocolates. Like there's one sample, I think, on the uh, cover. Yeah, there's this sample here. Because yesterday I mentioned also that you don't have to make a balloon. You can make this little uh, almost sensor looking bottle there and they filled theirs with the little Rocher, Ferrero uh, Rocher candies, which are yum. <laughs> so what a wonderful presentation, right? And that's, um, uh, it was meant to be almost like, you know, a masculine version also, which I think is really cool. It shows the versatility of the set and the shapes and all that. So not everything has to be so girly girly. All right, so I'm just pinching that little bottom portion now. Absolutely, Persian Glitter Princess, we have that in common, right? <laughs> you cannot go wrong. All right. So I'm just trying to pinch that there. And while those are drying, I'm going to continue folding here these tabs getting them all ready to go, applying my glue, okay, and I'll remove the adhesive here, or the backing, and I'm trying to avoid that other side, like the plague, so that I don't ruin it, <laughs> but we're going to go here, and Hold on to that end first. I want to make sure my angles are correct here. All right, here we go. So once that makes good contact, then I'll move on to the bottom. I love the, uh, the color palette also. The Maggie Holmes papers are so much fun because of that. 
super sweet. And I realized that this became a little bit more muted because of the pearlescent um, uh, mousse that I put on there, but I couldn't resist. I really wanted some shine. And now, okay, I'm gonna try to make contact with the bottom here. It's not completely dry. So, gotta practice patience there. Okay. But this is also, I mean, I know I mentioned rain being the enemy of paper crafting, but it would be a fun project on a rainy day to just chill out. Get all your little papers cut out first. That's another thing I recommend as much as humanly possible. Do all of your paper cutting one day. Then save the project for a day where you have all the papers already, you know, ready to roll. I began this paper cutting last night because I, um, or last, yesterday evening, I should say, because I had a minute. <laughs> and I was just in a frenzy of cutting. Okay, I'm going to try to pinch that as much as possible there. I see nine, nine people in the chat. If I could get nine thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And if I could get another hello, that would be nice. Just to see who's there. Even if you're not a crafter, just say hi, be friendly. All right, there's half of it. Loving that. I'm going to try to do the other half. And what I think I wanna do is to um, do this one separately and then try to join them. I'm gonna see how that goes. I don't know if it's a good idea, but we'll find out. Just so that I don't have this big piece in front of me. Maybe it'll be helpful, who knows? We'll find out. Okay, getting my folds in place. All right, I removed the backing and now I can go in, hold on to that one. Ideally, you want it to fall right into place and when it does, just don't touch it. <laughs> just let it dry. I mean, obviously you want to pinch those little tabs and make sure they're making contact, but if they fall in perfectly, the less movement, the better. Okay, I'm liking that. Just trying to straighten that little piece out a tiny bit. Okay, next one. I'm gonna put my little, actually, I think I wanna do this side. No, I don't. I'm trying to be mindful of the colors, guys. So let me take the liner off of this one. Oh, yes, on the acetate one, I would think that, yeah, I would think you'd wanna refrain on doing the little basket from acetate. Um, only because you kind of need something to ground the piece visually. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think maybe that's that would be one reason to to only do the top. But you know, and besides, the bottom is supposed to emulate a little basket, right? So I don't know. Just an opinion, just like a belly button. Everyone's got one. Doesn't mean you <laughs> don't need to follow mine. Um, 
But yeah, I think any version of this is going to be fun. I'm already, I'm having a blast seeing the ones that people are posting on the Tonic page. Um, and if you're new to Tonic Studios Dyes, then yes, there is a huge following on Facebook where everyone shares what they make. And it's so fun. So cool to see people's ideas come to fruition, you know. Um, because absolutely, the whole acetate thing, that came to mind so quick. And what I got to thinking was, okay, I definitely want to do it, but I'm not going to do it on a live video. <laughs> because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> and uh, I want to be able to concentrate when I'm doing that. All right, so holding this in place. Good time to take another sip. And my husband's home. If I flip the camera in the opposite direction, I know Joanna knows this. You can see my window. Um, you would see a big truck loaded with uh, pallets of bees. <laughs> Bee boxes. No, I would do it on a Zoom. For instance, if you want to get together and do a Zoom uh, video and do it together, then I'm open to that. But I don't. I wouldn't do it on a live video because if you, you know how that goes. If you're trying to concentrate on uh, doing the project and you're like, oh, what do I do next? You know, um, I don't mind ruining paper, but acetate. That's a whole other. <laughs> That's another uh, story there. I would want it to be absolutely perfect. Yes, my husband's a beekeeper. So I was sharing this. Last week he gets home, right? And he walks in this room because this is generally where I am. And I'm like, oh, hi, honey. And I give him a hug. Girl, I got stung. <laughs> I put the picture on Instagram. I was like, ouch. <laughs> there was a bee on his back. And of course he didn't know it and neither do I. Did I, I should say. Uh, and that, it got me on my pinky and I was like, ah, <laughs> I screamed because I didn't expect it. And of course I screamed because it hurt, but I mean, it didn't hurt that bad. It was just like the surprise was enough. Oh wait, I didn't want those two together. Did I? Oh, why did I do that? Oh, well too late now. I had put pink and pink. <laughs> I said I didn't want to do that and I did it. But like I said, this is my my mistake piece, right? So I made my first mistake there. Putting two panels of the same color together. Oh, I'm so mad at myself right now. Oh, well. Yes, please do. It's a lot of fun, and you'll meet people, of course, because it, of it being, you know, Tonic being a UK brand, you'll meet people from all over the world because they have such a great following that's international, and I just think that that's super awesome. Um, and I get to learn also colloquialisms from the UK that I've never in my life heard, <laughs> which I think is fun too. Sometimes I, I'm like, oh, I need to put subtitles on this because I, mm, I sometimes struggle with the accent. I have difficulty understanding it, um, which is kind of odd, but... It's just the sound, sound of certain words is peculiar to me. Hello, husband. I'm making a balloon. Yeah. I'm making a balloon. I already made my first mistake. But I shall practice forgiveness of myself. Because nobody's perfect. All right. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, now this bit over here, as you see, I'm having to pull it away, but I'll fold my little tabs, do my glue. For 
first let me take off the liner. Um, oh, um, Mark? I think he's in the kitchen. <laughs> he can't hear me. <laughs> Marcos. Yeah, he's in the kitchen. No bee hugs today. <laughs> yes, I am live. And Joanna from Germany says hello. Hi, Joanna. He says hi, Joanna. I've told him he needs to come do a live video with me because that would be a riot. To see his big, uh, I call them drill bit hands, <laughs> trying to manipulate paper. <laughs> Just the thought of it makes me laugh. And besides, we have such... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. England. She's from England. Sorry. I apologize. Um, we have such different personalities. But when he gets going, I'm like, oh my gosh. You're actually funny. Because <laughs> my, my husband's a serious one. Wouldn't that be fun, Susie? See, I keep telling him that. I'm like, Mark, I want to challenge you to take one of my die sets and, you know, I'll cut out whatever you want and then you put it together or I'll challenge you with a couple of different things. Like I've seen some ladies do with their husbands on YouTube and I love those videos where they give them, you know, five different things or whatever and they challenge them to make a card or anything like that. And you know why? Because he's completely, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll tell him, uh, you said hello. Yeah, he's completely creeped out by the, um, the little gorgeous girls because they don't have a face. They, they only have the little eyes. <laughs> so he'll walk in here and he's like, are you stamping again? Are you coloring those little creepy girls? <laughs> I know, I agree, Susie. I think that we need more of that. We need more couples just, you know, doing things together. And besides, I'd love to hear his opinion on things because it's, you know, it's wonderful to hear another person's perspective on what you're making and stuff like that. And my husband, let me tell you, he's the enabler in this relationship. He's the one who gets me all this stuff. He's the one who's like, do you have anything uh, new, you know, are you making a new video? He's he really pushes me in that direction because he knows that I love it And let's face it. I suffer from chronic pain at the moment <laughs> and he doesn't need me complaining morning noon and night um, And he knows that this helps me so um, He's like yeah girl get in there go make something <laughs> Go craft but he also knows that this is part of what I do, you know to serve the Lord, which is to encourage others. Um, and I do consider it part of my Christian walk to come along on YouTube and be the voice of a Christian female who's going to tell you her perspective on things according to what she's learned from the Lord, which is, number one, you have inherent value. Do not let anyone tell you that you don't. <laughs> Anything that you do with your hands is something of value. Anything that you do to express love is of value. You are heard. I want you ladies, you know, if you visit this channel to feel that. That this is just paper. That this is not done out of vanity. This is done to encourage others. Uh, this is my love language. My love language is things that I make with my hands. <clears throat> so, if you receive something from me, in the mail, just know that that's an expression of love. If you're making these sort of things, it's not about perfection. So there's a new... Oh, hey, Beverly. <laughs> you were in the bushes? What are you doing in the bush, sweetheart? Were you gardening today? 
You can convert a person family moments into paper but faceless. See no, I don't I don't think I dig that. I want to see the faces. I mean, I I like the gorgeous girls, don't get me wrong, but the, I don't I don't associate gorgeous girl stamps with real people. To me, that's just a cartoon, you know, like anime or whatever. It's a person's interpretation of a doll. But never in a million years would I associate that with real people. Um Oh, that's so awesome, Susie. This was my first year participating in that. And let me tell you, oh, I was so moved. Creating those cards was, I was like, yes, this this is it. This is it. This is what I need to be doing. Um, sending them off to children. Oh, it just made me feel so alive, really, truly. Um, Woo! that's awesome oh no worries no worries Beverly so Persian glitter princess is saying um your hubby uh, built you a she shed girl have you shared pictures maybe you have and I haven't seen them but I would love to see because that's what I technically have here I mean this is a studio it could have been a bedroom but my children are grown, um, and my oldest lives in another state already. He's a grown man. My little one, he's got his own room upstairs with all the, you know, bells and whistles, as they do now. Um, so I was like, hey, this would be a cool studio. And my husband was like, yes, it's about time you have one. So it's just a room. But it's a huge blessing because when you prayed for years and years to have, you know, a place to create, then yeah, I don't take it for granted. Um, a lot of prayer that goes on in this room too. Um, a lot of singing too. I like to sing when I craft. I won't torture you guys with that, but I generally am listening to like gospel spiritual music uh any kind of music in fact i have a playlist and i believe it is public of the kind of music that i like to listen to because i like all kinds of music and i listen to it and enjoy it all right guys that bottom is finally done so you saw there there may have been um this, this was kind of like a backwards build, if you will. You may want to start yours if you get this die set. You may want to start it from the bottom up, but that's a personal preference. Yes, absolutely. Um, sometimes, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting how life goes, right? You learn your lessons, and um, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> When I was younger, uh, I didn't even consider that as an option. But now that I'm older and wiser, I'm like, yep, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I am going to curl these little banners. Now these, like I said before, these are super thin because this paper is not, this particular paper is not Tonic Studios card. This is just uh, paper studio papers from that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, the holographic ones here. And this is meant to go on the outside of this balloon. And I am just going to curl them so that they take the shape that they need to have in order to fit this nicely. Oh, okay. So when you do publish, um, let me know. I'd love to see it. I did cut out... I forgot that I cut this out. Let me make a quick hole on this because I do want to put this on the top. I did cut this out for the top. Yeah, I want that there. So I'm going to do my little trick again. Hold it, use my pencil, mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. Okay, might want to look at it. <laughs> Okay, 
That's going to be the layer on top here, right? And I think I'm going to be okay with threading that, Lord willing. We'll see. We'll find out if I end up having to change up things. I don't even know. But I'm going to put that there now to add a little bit of glimmer to the top there. It's going to match also the glimmer on the bottom. It'll make it a little bit more cohesive. Oh, Susie, this was part of the glimmer, the holographic paper, pardon, is part of a paper collection. And I did show the paper pad, but let me show it again. It came in here. And it's from the paper studio and it's called the unicorn. And just at the very back of it, there was that holographic paper. And let me show you, since I'm waiting for that to dry anyway. It's really flimsy. It's, it looks like vinyl, but it's just thin paper. It looks like I got some tonic mail. Okay, check it out, sweetie. Mm. Love you. Love you. I'll see you soon. I got okay. your packages to send. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So, guys, I got another haul. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> There's this also this banner, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't, I can't talk. Um, it says up and away and it does deep off the paper. And I did use some Nouveau mousse, but it's kind of invisible because it's embossed into the paper, but not, um, it's not written in any way, but I can follow this up with a golden pen um, and write, or, you know, what do you call this trace? Can trace the little letters and then it'll be similar to the paper the Maggie Holmes paper which has this gold glimmer on pastel colors so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that while I'm thinking of it and of course you could do this with any color you like I'm just keeping it delicate looking here all right so here's the next part of this assembly now I have to decide, for instance, if I'm going to close this with magnets, do I want to close it, you know, with, uh, what do you call it? Do the string like Joanna was mentioning, because you can do the string. Um, and for that, I would probably have to do, let me see here. I think this needs to go on the outside of this, but... I can do it, if I'm gonna do it with strings, I'd have to do the little strings adhered to this portion and then the bottom like that. And I think that that would look super cute, even if it's not very long. Um, and then the top, of course, goes like so. Uh-oh, okay, wait. Sorry, guys. Something happened here. My little balloon did not stick. Okay, let's give that two seconds there. Um, and sorry, my husband just like ran in and out. <laughs> he was here and now he's gone. Otherwise I would have relayed the messages. So I apologize for that. But that's his job. He zooms, zooms, zooms all day like a bee. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> in and out, in and out. That yard, the other yard. So I'm going to um, try to refresh my own feed here. Because, guys, I am so sorry that I have such a horrible delay on my videos. All right. I mentioned before that you could do the magnets also to close this. So that is another option. If I wanted to just stick this together and make it one piece. But I'm thinking that that would be a little bit of a struggle only because I didn't plan it out to be one piece. Um, otherwise, I would have waited to adhere these. You know what I'm saying? So I think I want to do the whole string thing. Now my question is, should I do it with acetate? 
I don't think so. I think I want to do it with this, with my little cord. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the cord first so as to not drive myself crazy. And yeah, this is probably gonna drive me bonkers. Let me make little knots first then. This is a uh, twine or whatever you call this stuff and I cannot recall where I got it. It may have been a Hobby Lobby purchase. I was using the wrong scissors there. Um, but I think what I wanna do is make them all maybe about four inches long just so I have um, an opportunity there to make a little knot at both ends. And I'm hoping that I only need four of these. I'm gonna see if that's a possibility there. And I'm also hoping that the adhesive that I intend to use will work because if not, then I'll have to reinforce it with hot glue. Absolutely, Joanna. Yes. And if you ever want my phone number, just email me and I'll, I'll um, email me your number or whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Um, or instant message me on Instagram because you can do video calls on Instagram too. So that's another, if you're not comfortable giving out your home number or whatever, Instagram is a great way to reach me. I've met some phenomenal people like that. It's <laughs> so cool, you know? In fact, there's a, a sweet girl that, um, I don't think I cut that the right length. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there's a sweet girl that I met that she and I have be become friends and we met through Facebook. I've never seen her in person, but we video chat. Um, we contact each other regarding crafting and all that stuff. And uh, it's just wonderful. All right. I think I should have waited to do all the little knots after the fact, but whatever. This is how I craft. Kind of wing it. Hello, Stay Stace. I like your name name. Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome. I'm attempting to uh, make a balloon here, so I have two more of these to go because my intention is to only use four strings. We shall see if that works. Um, let me cut it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm open to that. I've always said that on this channel. If anyone ever wants to do a Zoom crafty... Um, what do you call it? Session? Heck yeah. Absolutely. I think it would be so much fun. Now, I know I have to be mindful of the time uh, difference, but we can make an appointment or whatever, you know what I mean? Schedule it. And then that way I can tell my family, okay, you know, I'm going to be on a Zoom call. Y'all go away. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate your patience. So here's what I'm hoping I can figure out now. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside for a moment. I'm hoping that I can put the little strings here first with the intention of then, you know, gluing the bottom, right? And what I'm going to use is these little sticky dots that I had uh, mentioned in the past that I got from scrapbook.com because they're the equivalent of hot glue, only they're obviously not hot, right? But they're super sticky. So I'm gonna give that a try. Let's see how it turns out. And what I'm going to do is stick them right on the edge here. 
off camera, I will cover up whatever I need to cover up. This is just for now, right? And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm sticking the knot right in the center of that little sticky dot. Hopefully you guys can see that. Ah, trying to get not, not get all the other ones stuck on me because this is my, that's my talent, getting glue everywhere. <laughs> I cannot get it off my finger now. Okay, that's there. Okay, woohoo. That was messing with me. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is put two strings on this one panel, but on the edges. Oh, that's super sticky. Okay. And I realize they're not exactly the same length, so we're going to see how that works. <laughs> it might end up being a carny balloon after all. <laughs> now, on the opposite of that, here on the yellow one, I'm going to try to do the same thing, guys. <laughs> I'm going to pick up this little dot that's stuck to my table here. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't, we're going to call the video What Not To Do. <laughs> with paints and glitter. <laughs> oh, hi, Louisa! <laughs> How are you, doll? Oh, my gosh. We're making a hot air balloon. 3D hot air balloon. Hopefully. Okay, so we've got this situation going on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how I'm going to get this to be uh, the same length on the other side. We shall see. But let me see if I can do the little dots on there. Where are they? Right here. This is tricky, tricky. Not everyone does this on a live video. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could, but here we are. All right, so now I'm going to try to stick it on the edge here also. One little dot. dot. Um, yes, <laughs> I was saying earlier. Okay, so Joanna and I were having a conversation regarding making the same balloon. In acetate and I was telling her oh my gosh I was thinking the same thing because I have the Buenos Dias collection so I've been saving that acetate for something super special right okay I'm hoping that I can measure this out visually if not we'll see what happens anyway so we were talking about okay let's you know let's do it in acetate then I'm telling Joanna but what about the you know the seams like how do you think you'll cover that up because the last thing I want, <clears throat> excuse me, is to have this like yellow <laughs> glue seam. <laughs> and then I said, well, unless you want to do like a carny thing, <laughs> you know, put a picture of someone, a heavy smoker in there, in your little balloon. Um, but I realized not everybody shares my sense of humor, so that may or may not be funny to you. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm winging it, but we'll see. We shall see. At this point, I'm just putting the little glue dots on the center there. And we'll see if that sticks enough. Oh, because it is really, really strong. All right. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm just going to let this kind of dangle here. And it's not pretty from the inside, but I do have my liners. Um, how did I do it? Wait. I almost need another set of hands. <laughs> I need an assistant. Let's see. I'm just going to tack them down first. Okay. You know what? It's not the perfect, but it's not horrible either. Um... I think I need to move them down a tiny bit. And I know there are more technical ways of doing this, but let's be real. This is crafting. <laughs> I am not going to, you know, wreck my brain with it. It's either going to work or it's not. All right. So there's that. That's good enough for me. It's 
floating. So I hope you guys can see that. And now I'm going to line the inside of this because I do want it to be pretty, pretty, pretty on the inside. And that's going to cover up some of the mess that's going on in there. Probably not all of it. Um, but if anyone's peeking in to the inside of the balloon, they'd have to come into my house. <laughs> I don't think I'll be sending this one in the mail just because it's not perfect. Okay. And again, it's just, it's fun to play. It's fun to discover, um, come up with different ideas and to cover up those little knots, quite honestly, I mean, you can make the little holes in the paper. I'm just not a huge fan of that. So I'll probably just cover it up with a uh, ribbon. And now what all I'm doing is doing the same as I did on the outside panels, just adding some little dots of adhesive there. And then I'm going to, you know, try to aim here for the center-ish. Just to have somewhat of a finished piece here. So hopefully you guys can see a little bit there of what I'm doing. Just adding a little bit of a liner. Now at home, of course, you know, when you're creating with this, you want to take your time. You don't want to rush it. I'm sort of rushing here just because I don't want to keep you guys here forever in a day. Um, okay. And I apologize for the angle not being too visible, but did it come off? No, it didn't. Okay. I was worried for a second there. I thought it may have come off. And as I said earlier, if you're confident, if you're more comfortable with hot glue, that's always an option. I just try to refrain from it on a live video because I don't want to burn myself by accident. You guys know I'm easily distracted, so. Okay. I've got two, three panels to go. There's one. I think this would be wonderful also, say for almost, um, I was thinking of or like a retirement gift and fill it up with chocolates. Or if um, um, someone's going on maternity leave from work, that sort of thing, oh, this would be so, so darling to give uh, in expectation of a new baby. So many ideas, right? So many reasons to... Uh, to just make something special to celebrate. Okay, a couple more here. I'll take a quick peek at the chat. Y'all are saying hello to one another. That's good, good, good. I've got 10 people watching. If I can get 10 thumbs up, that would bless me. It would be so nice. It helps my channel and it'll help you also get videos coming your way that have this type of content. So if you do enjoy the crafty videos, then it's kind of a win-win situation for everybody, right? Um, all right, so adding my little bit of glue here. And as you can tell, I'm putting my hand from you know the bottom here, kind of giving myself some access to that paper. So that way I'm not fighting with it. And if you're not adding the little strings, if you're just adhering it to the bottom, um, then it's up to you whether or not you want to do this sooner. I kind of wanted to hide the strings, but to be honest, I didn't. <laughs> it 
didn't do anything for my strings. I just didn't know which way it was going to go. But at least on the inside there, there's a little bit of brightness. Um, so if it tilts or whatever, I don't even know. It'll give it something there to uh, to make it happy. Happy, happy, happy. I'm very content with it so far. There's one little string that I have to kind of fiddle with here, but... Um, let me see if I can do that real fast. It's kind of narrow, so I have to... Here we go. I have to be sure that I'm looking at it from the correct direction here. And I might have to... Woohoo! I think... Let me see here. Can I get away with... Uh-oh. Nope. It came off. Sorry, guys. It came off of the bottom sticky thing here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Stay. I'm trying to grab the thread, guys, but I have no depth perception. So I do apologize if it seems like I'm not with it. I have to figure out where things are sometimes. There we go. There, I think I'm happy with that. And like I said before, off camera, I can fiddle with it, you know, all day long. So now it's the top portion, as I mentioned before. It's so cute, it really is. Um, I can leave it as such, or as I mentioned, I could do the magnets. Um, if I do magnets, however, then I would have to, um, cover them and I don't think I want to go that route today. I think I'm going to make it so that it stays together. So let's do this um, in, inner portion. And again, this is just for me, whatever. Probably don't even need it, but I'm doing it anyway because I took the trouble to cut it all out. And that probably didn't even sound correct in English, did it? I think I'm thinking in Spanish and speaking in English. I do that every now and then. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I'm going to try to do this real fast. And then we'll do the outer portions, which is not going to be a whole lot. I still have to figure out the uh, the little acetate banners. No idea how that's going to go on here. But I'm thinking that maybe... Um, yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> maybe I should stick them inside of this? No, I don't think that's going to work. I was thinking that they could go on the inside. But... I'm thinking they might have to go on the outer portion of this and then go down toward the bottom. I'm open to suggestions, but I think that I want to put them on the border of that. We shall see, we shall see. I do appreciate you ladies. I appreciate your support so much. It means a lot to me. It really does. Because you don't you're not necessarily learning anything from me, but the, just the fact that you take the time to even say hello to me that's a big deal. It truly is. So I'm always saying we we can learn a lot from each other. Absolutely. Um, some crafters are more advanced than others, and I think that that's fine and good. It's, you know, but I really do love hearing other people's opinions on things, their takes on an item. For instance, like Joanna already has made this ba balloon, sorry, and um, she mentioned a couple of things. So I think that's super cool. All right, last little panel here. Isn't it? I agree. I really think that this is so stinking adorable. I'm so happy they made this hot air balloon because I was going to, you know, 
I was looking at uh, my Silhouette Cameo. I was looking at the different 3D items there and going, gosh, I wonder how long it would take to design something like a hot air balloon or, you know. And then I was like, huh. Ah. I can't sit in front of the computer. It's so frustrating to not be able to sit because of my back. It 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 puts me in tears. It hurts so bad. And then and then uh, lo and behold, I hear um, from Tonic Studios that uh coming you know coming soon. Oh, I was just over the moon excited. Oh, I love it. Love it. I love it. Okay, question. Should I or should I not make it so that it opens on top? What do you guys think? I almost I almost think I want to glue it just, you know, just glue it together, right? Just so I can keep it in my um, room here. I don't know. So I'm going to make my little piece here, the little knot, so that I can... Um, you know make it so that it hangs right so I'm just gonna give myself a piece here and I'm going to fold it in half and then use my little pokey tool to push that in okay once I've got it there I'm going to try to create a little knot, and I guess I should have done this before. <laughs> Will it work? I don't even know. I can stick it, though. I might have to add some adhesive here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because it's going to be too difficult to reach in to make a knot. So I'm going to use one of these sticky dots, and then I'll cover it up. I'm just going to put that on that thread and push it. My hands are barely reaching that. Uh, come on now. It won't let go of my finger. Here we go. <laughs> so I just use one of those little sticky dots. And what I'll do is I'll cut a third little uh, hexagon there and I'll stick it right on there. Or maybe no one will see it. But now I can make another little knot here. And I will more than likely use fishing wire, to be honest, if I'm going to hang this in my room. Okay, but it, at least I get that portion of it. Yeah, I got to thinking I wanted to make it so that it opens, but I don't think I'm going to put anything inside this particular one. Because if I were going to mail it, I would have made it perfect. Uh, I don't, I don't have, um, what do you call it? This is, this is not perfect by my standards, so I'm not going to mail this one. This is just going to be, you know, staying home and pretty to look at. I'll probably make some flowers and add that on top and all that jazz. But it, in, in any case, it's also just, you know, the experience of making these things, um, and then referring to them is fun. Um, so yeah, let's just glue it, but, but first, as they say, I have my little acetate strips and my hopes of course, is that this serves as, you know, also an example for anyone who wants to make it to say, oh, you know what? I kind of like that. I don't like that. Right. I'm going to use maybe just two of these. I'm going to cut it down. Okay, and this does have a liner. That's why it looks cloudy to begin with. This is Cricut brand acetate. It's nice and sturdy. So I'm removing the clear liner first. Okay. So I'm going to use these sticky dots again. These have been a godsend. Scrapbook.com, thank you so much for sending me these sticky dots. Because <laughs> um, I never would have even bothered picking them up because I just, I don't know, kind of habit of using the same things, right? But I'm going to put this here. And this is going to be hidden by my lid, right? And then I'm going to put another sticky dot down at the bottom. 
And what I'll do is that I'll put maybe like a little gem there, right? So I can afford to have um, adhesive there for the moment, right? Right there, just making sure, of course, that it lines up there, or I could twirl it, actually. Hmm. Yeah, let's twirl it. <laughs> let's twirl it. See, the ideas keep coming. Oh, I'm gonna try not to tear that. If I do, I'll just stick a gem on it. There, let's twirl it a bit. Gonna twirl it. Will this twirl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, loving it. Okay, so I got my first little twirl there. I'm going to repeat it on the opposite side. So we did pink and now yellow. I've got another one of these guys. It's going to go from here to here, I think. So I'm just approximating the size or the length of here. <clears throat> And I'm going to take the liner off again. Okay. I'm going to take the liner off the opposite side because it does have it on both sides if you've never used this acetate. Um, so if you get it, if you purchase this type of thing and you see it cloudy, don't be disappointed. It doesn't mean you wasted your money. It just means you have to take the liner off. Okay, so now I'm going to twirl that again, just gently, not too many, you know, curls. And then I'm going to go to the next one in line here, and this will start making sense in a minute. I'll grab my little sticky dot, and I'm aiming for the center. Okay. Mm, is it too long? Too far away? Yeah, I think I went too far away. Undo. Move it back. <laughs> one, one over. And I think I got it this time. Mm, yeah, I think I got it. Did I? Yeah, I got it. So that's kind of interesting because I'm seeing that this also holds on to the basket. So bear that in mind, depending on how you put your little twirly thing, I think I want to move it back one, it'll impact how this little guy moves. So I just learned something new there, right? I think I want that one to be straight, just so that it holds on to my little basket there. And let's make the commitment. <laughs> um, yes, I'm definitely going to put uh, flowers on this. I'm not making the flowers today just because I am being medically uh, irresponsible in a way right now. I'm supposed to take a break every couple of hours and sit down for my back, and I'm not doing that obviously today. So I will be having to rest the rest of the evening. Um, and I'm praying that tomorrow I can move. <laughs> But this is my therapy. Um, and anyone who suffers from pain can tell you the same. When you're, you know, when you're lost in the world of creativity, other things can take a back seat. And I will probably sit and cut the papers uh, and then add the flowers when once they're nice, nicely done, right? Okay, so let's let's do this. I'm kind of nervous, guys. Can you tell? <laughs> kind of nervous to put it together. Because I don't know how far down it's going to go. That was going to be my next question. But let's see if I can aim it to make contact in a particular place here. I'm hoping. And you notice I didn't take all the liner off. I probably should, though. Okay, it's faffing. I am faffing. <laughs> I love that word. Oh, I love that word. Okay, I'm the faffing faffer. Okay, I think I got it where I need it. 
I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking maybe, here we go. I'm trying to make sure it's not too, uh, that it doesn't land in the wrong place so it doesn't become crooked. Because I'm noticing that this is quite larger than that meat, that middle portion. Come on. And maybe here is where hot glue would have come in handy, quite honestly. Um, hmm. Because I want to be able to hold it like that, but it's going to fall apart. So, here she goes with the stickies. Because I want this done today. <laughs> I'm aiming at the little corners here now. Okay. All right, going around. I'm trying to be careful because these things don't seem to be very forgiving. Okay, but they're li literally like hot glue, guys. Amazing. All right, so there's that one. That one. Where are you? Sorry, guys, I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see me. Here we go. Give it another try. And trying to be gentle here because this, when it sticks, it's going to stick. Ah, I'm scared. Don't want to ruin it. Mm, did I get it right? No, I didn't. Ah! Trying to do it. Here we go. Trying to do this front portion first. Trying to meet those corners. Boom, boom, boom. Did I get it right? Over here, over here. It's getting there. My string came off, <laughs> but that's okay. Come on, little balloon, cooperate with me. All right, that's it. I'm calling it stuck. And now I'm going to fix my little thing here. Where are you supposed to go? You're supposed to be over here. Stay, would you? There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I can sort of breathe now. All right. She's hanging. Guys, she's a balloon. <laughs> no, I won't overdo it. The rest of my evening is going to be rest, 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 rest. I am going to do my little banners. Remember these? This is what I was doing at the beginning of this video. So what I'm gonna do is use the same little sticky dots, put them on here, and this is gonna decorate that acetate, right? So this will make it quick and easy because, boom. Let's do a rectangle and then a triangle. I can fit the glue in there. So you see there's a lot of little elements, but I think it's so worth it. I think I want these pointing out, right? Or I don't think it matters, but you can just sandwich the acetate there and then fold it over. And next color. So cute. I'm loving this. And you know, you know, you know, I'm going to put some Nuvo and pearls and flowers and all that jazz. I just have to pace myself, but I'll get it done. So there's the little banners for that side. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. I'm going to do the banners for the other side. I might need to add a little more glue here and there, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm just pinching the acetate now with the uh, the paper here, since I have the glue in the middle. Okay. Next little banner, triangle, just switching up the shapes. And this would be super duper awesome if you, ah, my nails, sorry guys, if, <laughs> ah, 
Ay, mamma mia, my nails. Okay, if you, um, I was trying to say, before I was rudely stuck, um, it would be super duper cute if you heat embossed, if you want to be extra, right? And heat embossed the, uh, the paper with, uh, the little banner stamps, you know? So adorable. I'm going to try to get this off my finger here. Oh. I'm like fighting with these, but they do work because they're so, so sticky. Ah, okay, done. Whew. All right, I'm calling this done for now. <laughs> I realize there are some technica and technicalities I need to take care of, like making sure that these strings are more even, making sure that I revisit, you know, the height of this here and restick it and all that stuff. More than likely, I will take this apart and finish it with hot glue guys but you know what i love it <laughs> i love it so much i think it's so cute oh my gosh yes joanna absolutely because i sh i know that i should have measured it you know i get you know i get antsy when i'm doing my uh live videos but what I'm going to do to finish it off, just to let you know, is add some little gems here to cover up the acetate. In fact, since I'm thinking of it, I've got these from Paper Studio that are so cute. Let's see if I can open it. Yep, it goes like this. So I get to add a little more color with these. I'll add one here. See what I mean? Add one over here to cover that up. Okay. And then I can switch the colors and just do like a pink one in the middle. Do a green one over here. Oh, it's so darling. I really like it. I'll repeat the blue. Make it look like I did that on purpose. And pink again. There we are. Okay, so now it's got a little something going on at the bottom there, too. These were, uh, Joanna, to answer your question, the strips of acetate were approximately about quarter inch wide. Uh, one of them, I think I went a little bit narrower. No, they're a quarter, quarter inch wide. And then I did cut them to be 12 inches long, but in reality, you saw me cut them down. They didn't need to be that long. It just so happens that that's the size that they come in. Um... But I think quarter inch is a good size to, uh, so that they wouldn't be too flimsy. And then they're not too wide for the banners either. Hopefully you can see that. But I will continue playing off camera and I'll share a picture on Instagram and Facebook when I'm done. But this has been a blast. I hope you guys like it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, I forgot the little banner. This one. I forgot that. But I think I'm going to make a little shadow for it. Oh, guys. No, I thought I was done. I'm not done. What am I saying? I forgot the little holographic thingies. <laughs> if you want to stay for this, this is coming up next. I'm just going to do two little dots of glue here. Um, and do the little decor. I think it needs it. It desperately needs that shine here. Yep. For sure. That little edge. I think that's, uh, it makes, it makes the balloon, right? Absolutely. I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> Especially after all the fiddling I did to cut it. Um, I was going to say faffing again, but I'm not English, so I just like the word. Okay, here we go. Yes, I'm digging the hollow. And just so you know, there is another piece that will cut into this to make it even more um, 
more elaborate. I just did, I ran out of time and I wanted to come on to the live <laughs> because I announced it for 11. So that's what I did. And keep going around. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Sam. Hi. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad you cut the tail end of this. Because <laughs> you missed the torture. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't call it that. I've had fun. This has been a lot of fun. We made a balloon. We made a balloon. And the, here on the little dots, I'll go ahead and add the little gems. So that way it's cohesive, you know. But yeah, I do appreciate you guys having been here. Please come again for our um, for my next live. I will come along and unless you guys want me to do it now, because I'm I'm open to it, and share the Nuvo products that I got. I did the mystery bag. So I know there's still eight people here. And um, if you're open to it, I'll go ahead and open that package and show you guys what came in that because I'm dying to know myself. Oopsie, I think I ruined one of these. Yep, I'm gonna have to cut it again. Leave it to me to get the glue on the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm gonna be minus one there. I have to cut it again because I accidentally got that glue on it, the sticky ones. And I don't want to ruin the balloon. Oh, but I am loving this. So loving the details. And I mentioned I accidentally got pink ink on the edge there, but I'm not worried about that. That's exactly where I can hide, you know, put the little banner on there and whatnot. Okay, so I still have one left to do because I ruined that one, but that's okay. i can come back and do that at a different time. Um, oh, cool. All right. Awesome. Okay. Let's open up some goodies. Let's see what I got in the mail. It's my first time ordering, by the way, the mystery bag from Tonic Studios that is, um, listed as the Nuvo, new, just all Nuvo product. Now you guys saw that I added this pearlescent shimmer to this paper. The Maggie Holmes paper did not come like that. For those of you who missed the beginning of this video, that was done with Nouveau Mousse. So you can really transform your projects. And let me just do a side swipe here. I'm gonna quickly get stuff out of the way. Okay. Because I wanna make sure that my I have space here for, for what I'm going, going to show you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, all right, let's put the balloon to the side. I lost my cap, but that's okay. It's got to be in the room somewhere. All right, let's open up the box. I'm going to try not to show my address because I'm notorious for that. Um... So I'm going to just take off the bag off camera, but I'm still here. And hopefully, oh my goodness. I'm just very curious as to what it is that they included because there is a new, um, what do you call that? A new color trend from Tonic Studios right now. So if you like your yellows and light green and pastel colors, um, yeah, Nuvo is, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. I said I'm celebrating my birthday all month long. So guess what, girls? That's what I'm doing right now. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> This is what I'm doing. Some people have cake. Some people have cake and Nuvo. <laughs> Yay! 
Yes, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. We have bonded today because anyone who can stick through watching me craft is my forever friend. Because <laughs> I realize how much patience it takes to listen to me mess around with paper. All right. Okay, I'm seeing things that I've not seen in the past. All right. Some colors that are perfect for this weekend. These are darker, but that's okay. I can still use them. I think I might have this one. Let me see, I'm gonna check. That color I certainly don't have. All right, whoa, baby. I just dropped stuff on the floor. I have good aim. <laughs> okay, so to begin with, they sent the bag that was kind of, you know, free with purchase. I thought that was super cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They sent flower pollen, and I need to make little flowers for my balloon, so perfect timing. And if you don't know what this is, it's this really kind of fluffy material and what you do is you sprinkle it onto glue and it will look like a uh, pollen on an actual flower. So there's that. A Nouveau glue pen. And this is the wide tip one. And as a matter of fact, I think I have one already open somewhere in here. But if you're familiar with, now here it is. So, the nib is wide like that, kind of like a marker. So if you need, you know, a quick background, this is a good uh, glue to use for that. They also included this little guy. I guess it just decided to fall out. Um, this one's called the Adhesive Tape Runner. It's a baby one. It's called a mini, of course. And it says five millimeter by six meters worth of adhesive in there. That's great for when you're creating a bunch of, you know, cards all at once, I think. I like to use it for that. And if you need to compare it to anything, I am not yet, Joanna. Sorry to not answer that sooner. The, the new trend, I didn't pick up yet. I'm hoping to, though. It's on my list, my ever-growing list. But this, this is another adhesive runner that I happen to have. I picked this up recently, or maybe they sent it to me for free. This may have been a freebie with purchase from scrapbook.com. Um, so if you wanna know the you know size reference, this one's much smaller. And I've not used that before, so I cannot speak of, you know, can't give you an opinion there on whether or not I like it. But let's take a look at the bag. The bag, the bag, the bag looks like this, and it says eat, sleep, craft, repeat. Super cute, and it's quite big actually. What is this? 12, 15, it's about 15 inches deep. <laughs> Alrighty, got a bag. So that way, when I get kicked out of my home, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll be like Steve Martin in the jerk. I got my bag, I got my Nuvo, and that's all I need. All right, this is Nuvo Glimmer Paste, full size. And what color is this? It's so pretty. Oh, Galactica Blue. This would be perfect for masculine projects, also for the tropical stuff that I've got. I know, the bag is cute. Um, this one's Glacier Paste. Now, if you notice, the, the bottles are different. This one's called Glimmer Paste, and this one's got, called Glacier Paste. I am not going to lie. I have no idea what the difference is. But this one's in Hot Red. And that's as in Hot Couture. Um... Let's see here. So I might end up saving that for Christmas projects. 
Then the next one is this other red. This one's definitely more like a Christmassy color red, I would say. This one's called Scepter Red. Fit for a Queen. And this is Glimmer Paste also. And then this one is Glacier Paste and Iron Frost. I'm going to have to look up what the difference is between these. Unless Joanna knows. Yes, I agree. Absolutely. Great pointer, Joanna. The, the wide nib of the glue pen is good for the edge of a card to add glitter. That's a great idea. Iron Frost. So one thing I will say about these is that they're great to use with stencils. So the, uh, the paste has a really good consistency. I happen to have it another... Uh, what color do I have here? Okay, so here's another one that I have... And this one is in uh, Frosted Petal. And I've used this with a brush. So you can definitely water these down because they are water-based colors anyway. Um, and I have some other ones, but I'm not going to get everything out. Uh, then this Nouveau Embellishment Mousse is the same thing, where you can use it with a stencil or you can use it to color things. This one's called English Heather. And it's a really pretty... Um, mauve-like pink. Um, I happen to have the same one. Yep. So I had it already, but there's a second one. And then here's, this color is Persian red, but it looks like copper to me. So that'll be interesting. I think that would be great for a masculine card. These are embellishment mousses, but just to let you know, there are crackle mousse, there are matte mousses. There's different kinds from Nuvo. Here's a glimmer, I'm sorry, glitter drop. This one is in, what color? Golden Sunset, really pretty. So these are more like fall colors, I, I feel. I don't know. Oh, I can imagine, Joanna. It's so tempting to get it all. <laughs> it really is. All right, and last but not least in the bag or the box was French Navy Blueprint and Baritone Blue Alcohol Markers. And I love blue, so I can never have enough of these. Um, these, by the way, if you want to see a swatch, they come with the nib and they come with the wider edge. And it is an alcohol pen. So if you're new to alcohol markers and you need a selection, um, the Nuvo ones are great. They're nice and juicy. They're not refillable, but the colors are really pretty. Um, so there's that. You get to see the colors on that. Nice and vibrant. So I'm super happy. Thank you. Thank you, Tonic Studios, for doing uh, all of this in one shot one bag okay this it was a mystery bag by the way i did not know what i was gonna get but you got to see all of that three markers all of this <laughs> and the bag and that retailed for what was it i think it was 27 i think it was 27.99 for the whole thing not bad Yes, great for 4th of July projects. I agree. Especially that blue. Oh my gosh, super pretty. So I can use it on flowers or I can use it on, um, you know, making banner pieces or anything like that. Even for the, the balloons. Absolutely. That would be wonderful to decorate. So yeah. All right. Down to six people. Thank you so much for having been here today with me to craft. Feel free to leave me any feedback, um, come back for more videos, and uh, oh goodness, I can't believe I did that. I always say that you can use my links if you would like to. Um, yeah, it is a great haul, Louisa. I highly recommend the products. They're a lot of fun to use. Um, if you have any questions on any of them, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to respond. And I hope that you guys can be inspired and be blessed and that you have a wonderful weekend. 
Ciao, ciao. Thank you again. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Yes, Sam. They're great as well. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much for having been here, guys. Big hugs. Bye-bye. You know I have to tip over the camera. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>